Well, we finished the weekend and we made some upgrades and we got some gameplay and we got some rolls and it's no money spent time. Let's go. If you're trying to build the best team in Madden, we'll head on over to instantmuckcoins.com to avoid the packs, save some racks. Link is in the description below. Use code CC now for 20% off. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. In my wrist flick, I can't settle for a quarter. Real fast, need to bear maximum. Word to Khalil Mack, more so ambitious. Oh, God. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? Welcome to another episode of No Money Spent, where we sort of go over stuff after the weekend. Uh, we didn't have a lot of episodes last week because we didn't have a team. We sold some of our cards. We're going to talk about that as we bought some stuff back and did all that. Uh, as we made some good investments, but if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like on it Let's aim for a thousand likes on this video. It's no money spent uh, I know there's a lot of you guys out there if you enjoyed no money spent series This is where you want to be. So let's roll into this and talk. So last week we sold uh, A Randall Cunningham that we bought for about 900,000 coins and we sold a Justin Reed for 750,000 coins. So it gave us about 1.5 after tax. We were able to buy Randall Cunningham back uh, in the 500,000 range I did not buy Justin Reed back. We instead bought Brian Dawkins, okay? It was like 400 at the time. And because of the difference in those cards, we were able to pick up Derek Thomas as well. We were able to upgrade there. Now I did do some training rules throughout the weekend. Uh, we had a couple of decent pulls, nothing absolutely crazy. Uh, best pull was probably 97 straight hand. Maybe you consider that crazy. I don't know, um, but that was helpful. But still, while we won on certain ones, we lost in other ones. But it's okay. Uh, so we picked up Dawkins, right? Again, I'm not powering these cards up. People say, why you power your cards up? It's, it's not worth the, the cost to me on this account, right? Uh, so we used Dawkins over the weekend and we used Derek Thomas here as well. Uh, again, not powered up, but they're both 99 overall. So we added three 99s to the team. Uh, we could have picked up some other guys out here, probably. We probably could have, but we didn't. But we didn't. Uh, I didn't feel the need to really add anyone else. Like some of these corners would be nice to get, you know, uh, Antonio Cromartie would be nice, but it's not like Jair is bad. Jair, Jair is almost as good really for, for what I need from him. And he's not. So I don't really know what we're going to do there. Uh, we'll just sort of wait. So because of the lack of episodes last week, uh, I loaded up some training for us to roll. I'm going to open one Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack for you guys here as well. Uh, again, because of how everything went, we made some coins. We might as well as put them on the line here a little bit. Uh, some smart investing does pay off occasionally. Let's try. Let's see. You know, I'm not expecting anything. I don't love these packs. But again, uh, I want to make these episodes a little more fun and interesting and entertaining for you guys sometimes. So that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, that's pretty normal. Uh, oh, we get rings. We get rings. Ah, it's a 95. Okay. Okay. I mean, we'll take the 95. We'll break even at least right on that. So that's good. That's good. No risk luck. Uh, so we'll roll a train here at the end. We are going to uh, go over a game uh, that was played as well. Now we had some good games. We had some bad games. Uh, I think we're going to finish top 100 on the account. Uh, I went through really two really bad stretches while I was playing this weekend over here. I did switch over to run ace twins this weekend. 20 K cool. Um, I, I, I did run ace twins over here again. I wanted to try it out. Uh, there was a couple times I felt a little lost. I'll be honest. It's been so long since I've run it. Uh, and there were certain situations I just felt a little more uncomfortable than normal. So, hey, you know, there's no excuses. It is what it is. Uh, you know, it's cool. I think we got 18 wins. Fine. Whatever. Uh, there are some games I wish I had recorded. I know someone's going to say, oh, why don't you just record all the games? It's a lot of recording to, to happen there. Not really. It's, I, I'm. When I'm playing, I'm normally like laying back and relaxing and not trying to do, you know, too much. So I don't always remember to hit the record button. If I see a name that I recognize, uh, it's like a really good player. I will normally hit the record button just in case it turns into a really good game. Um, 
there were definitely some that I thought was like part way through. I was like, should I start recording this? And I just don't want to give you guys like a partial game. Uh, I, ooh, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, you know, I just want to give you guys something. Uh, so this was the game, you know, the one I hit record on from the beginning. And we'll talk through it. Uh, and there was some key points in here, if I remember, where I think he did some things very wrong. I think it's going to be very helpful to watch and learn from it, okay? Because a lot of times when we do post-commentary gameplays, uh, which means I'm commentating it after the fact, I want to help teach you guys the smallest little nuances at times with the game. Things to do, things not to do, things to be aware of. Uh, so I think this game actually covers that pretty well. Uh, if I do recall, and I think I do recall. So, uh, I'll try to be better at that going forward with recording some of these weekend league games. If I mess up, I mess up. Uh, we, some of the ways we lost games was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Maybe some of the way we won games was crazy. I don't, I don't know. You know, it's always the way it is. Whenever you win a game, you don't really remember like if you cheated them or anything. I don't remember it. I don't know about you guys, but when you lose, oh, you remember it. So it's fair is what it is. Uh, I feel like we're not going to make coins on this little training roll here. Again, that's cool. Whatever. A uh, little risk. The biscuit would be cool. I would love to have pulled something great, but if we don't, it is what it is. We've got weekend league rewards. Uh, and then we've got monthly rewards next week as well, which should be kind of exciting with the way that Redux and Ultimate Legends are, but we do not know what the pack is yet. So we'll see if the Fire Fantasy pack has instead of legend cards, ultimate legend slots, that could be pretty exciting to me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, is this the last one? No, we actually got one more. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so this will probably be our walk off here. Green. No. 84 Joe. Cool. All right. That's fair. Uh, let me pull up this game. We'll walk through it. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So we are in the game against smoothie. Saints, oh, I had to record, you know, we <laughs> always got to, uh, we always got to put the Saints fans on blast. It's fair. It's fair. High five. It's cool. Um, so like I said, we were running ace twins this weekend and it's, it's, it's one of my favorite offenses that, that I can use and have used over the years. So I'm very familiar with it, but again, I feel like there's some things that I'm missing, not really having used it on next gen since the big patch, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's just different. So one thing I noticed here, and this, this may, may be a thing, may not be a thing when pre-play we have identifier, right? So you'll see him. He's, uh, he's moving players around. He's, he's click. He, he, he's doing a lot here and I feel like he doesn't know why he's doing it, but he's doing it. So whenever I see people move players around and twitch them. I feel like they're a little bit nervous or something or, 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 or whatnot. So I believe here is actually in dime. If you came out in dime normal, which is, is not a very good idea <laughs> against the two tight end set, but you know, he, he's going to get out of it pretty quickly here, uh, which, which is smart. So again, I played a little slow th throughout this game and, and, and some of these games this weekend because Again, just trying to get my flow back in here. And I know this, that, that, yeah, that hit stick right there. You're probably watching this and you're like, why didn't he fumble? He should have fumbled. He can't really fumble on next gen right now. So it's weird. Ah, it's broken is what it is. So I'm okay with taking my hit sticks there. Uh, but right here, he gets pressure. He actually had some pretty good coverage. I feel like we might've had the tight end on the right. Uh, hey, it is what it is. But at third and 15, he comes back out and dime normal here. And again, he, he's not pressed up, so we know he's not in man. Uh, he's probably in cover two here. And he does not set his zone depths, which again is a big problem to me. You are allowed to change your zone depths every single play. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you minimum protect the sticks there or do something, right? Really, really bad defensive play there by him. Not necessarily that we picked it up, but the fact that you can tell he didn't have anything set. And so that's a problem. Uh, that's a big problem right there. You get the chance to do it. Now he is going to consistently move the safety down here 
and we would have had multiple easy chances at a touchdown by streaking that slot receiver there because he's clearly in cover three when he's doing this right he's not pressed up uh these times he's more he's showing blitz if anything but he's not pressing so he's not in man when he has this look he's not gonna show blitz and cover two either you could probably just guess that because he's gonna leave the sideline wide open uh so again while he's in cover three here uh we, we know that there's a couple things we can do here so we were trying to run the ball in be safe eh, we're not getting in there so we're just going to run a basic play uh and what i want to do here is see if i can roll and if i can roll here uh we're going to be able to throw that corner out 95 percent of the time probably so i think his defense here was fine on this play right Maybe throw a contain out there or a spy. You know, you see, we do have Cunningham. Um, but the fact that the corner route's not guarded is, is not his fault. That's just the way the game is. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I'm not even gonna say bad defense on the play. Uh, I think there, I would have done something a little differently. I don't know if the result would have changed necessarily. Cause if he had a spy there, he probably wouldn't have got to us anyway, but it is what it is. So we take the seven nothing lead here, uh, which is, which is, which is great. Uh, we took just over a minute off the clock too, or just a, a, a quarter, sorry, quarter off the clock. That's pretty good. Again, I've been playing slow. I, what I really want to do here is control the clock, grind the game out, force you to feel like you have to be perfect and then just suffocate them essentially offensively. Um, so, you know, we're going to make our adjustments here, uh, and all of our subs. Again, set your zone depths accordingly. Uh, I will change mine based on the formation that someone runs. I will change mine based on how they're playing. And I will go through and I will change them as often as I really feel uh, the need to here. So, I mean, him coming out in eye tight here, I, no, no problem. You know, see if someone has run defense, right? Why not? I, I see no problem with that. Maybe someone does, maybe they don't. I don't know. Right, but when I see someone who's going to come out in that, we're going to be in certain situations. Now here, uh, with pistol bunch tight end, uh, we're going to come out more in cover two. I'm going to shade down, uh, because I want my hook zones to play short. Um, because if we don't, he's going to be able to hit, uh, those late sort of drags every time out of cross drags, right? If we don't, if we don't adjust based on that defense and that play, we would never stop him, but he goes to, to tight here. So, okay, you know, go to, go to tight. That's cool. Uh, a little bit of motion here. Again, no problem. Uh, let's see what he does here. I always kind of forget. Uh, but everything's pretty bagged up there. But that Taysom Hill, I he, I don't know what really happened there. Uh, but beautiful for him to see it. Uh, the fact that he saw it is beautiful, right? Okay, so I close. Whenever I see I close and all that, I'm gonna be in three four on cover four, right? Uh, and I'm, you need your linebackers on the field at this point. Yeah, they can't cover anything, but they will defend the run way better than any of those safeties at linebacker or anything like that. Uh, so again, he's gonna go to I tight here, and we're going to. Uh, I believe I actually ran commit left because last time he ran left away from the receiver. This time he runs to the right, ties the game up. Okay. Um, like in that situation, I have no problem with run committing, right? I, I, I think it's kind of the smart thing to do. Even though I do not feel run commit works very well, it's going to give me a better chance there simply because how people fall forward in the game. Uh, so he ties the game up. He had that really nice read to Taysom Hill. Again, slightly broken play, but uh, the fact that he saw it, made the read, made the catch, all, all, all is good. Uh, so he's going to have to do something on, you know, he's going to have to do something on defense here. So when he goes into these off coverages here, like we can tell that it's man just based on how he lined up, right? He, he audible to man there. Super obvious. When I see that, uh, especially I know he's probably not going to throw a bunch of purple zones out there to guard corner routes and crossers. We'll just take the easy corner out there. Uh, again here, you would assume cover two, uh, looks like it is cover two. So we're going to roll out here 
and just throw an absolute laser with Cunningham. No, we get we get tackled there, but again, cover two, no deep third in the middle. I, if I roll, so if I stay in the pocket there, I have to pass lead it up, and there's a chance it's going to get picked. If I roll, the safety on the right side of the screen there will at least drift enough for me. Okay, uh, just enough, not a lot, but just enough. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so let's see what we're going to get here. Uh, again, you know, we're down in the red zone. Um, we're chewing clock. I, I, I don't want him to have the ball anymore. You know, uh, if we could take this all the way, it would have been great, but instead we're going to score, uh, go up 14, seven. Okay. Now we got to stop because he does get the ball at half, right? If he were to score on us here and get the ball, then he's back in control of the game. So while we're up seven, while we've had some two easy drives, uh, we are not locked in for a W by any stretch at this point. And I don't feel like we saw enough of his offense to really have an idea. Cause he hit the one big play. Anytime someone hits one big play, I, 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 I it, it's really hard to consider it and give, give it too much credit there. You know, was it fluke? Was it lock? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I need to see sustained drives, sustained, excellent reads, all that before. I feel like it can really give someone credit offensively that like, mm, I think we might be in one. So we'll see how he does here. Uh, again, you know, he's got a minute, uh, he has three timeouts. The worst thing he can do, obviously in this situation is give me the ball back. Even like with a pick six or something like that, really, really bad situation. Uh, but he's got plenty of time. He's got three timeouts. He should be able to lock in three here. Like that's got to be your goal. Like seven is beautiful, right? Seven is beautiful, but the clock is against you. So that's what you need to make sure that you can do. Uh, so again here, so the adjustment we are making here this time is we're putting our curl flat out there on the left. Cause I'm expecting the drag, right? And we actually get some random pressure there, but again, he's throwing the drag there. Hey, even though we adjusted to it, that was a big difference in yardage between the two plays and it will continue to be a big difference in yardage if he does that. Uh, so here last time we were in quarters this time, I believe we probably went to cover two. Uh, we did and we're blitzing off the left this time. Again, I want to, I don't want to give you time, right? Can't give you time here. So now we're at third and 10. Okay. So let's do the same thing. He, he had trouble with the blitz there. Apparently didn't know how to block it. Didn't, didn't even try to block it. Uh, but then he throws that, which is, uh, honestly a wonderful pass. It was like, okay. So I saw that pass and I was like, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. A uh, little motion there that, like he did everything really, really good on that play. So again, here he's put the running back on the left side now. So he's actually trying to block it. Uh, and then he does basically the same thing. Okay. All right. All right. So he's, he, he's playing the game. Oh, he's playing the game. All right. Uh, so what are we going to do here this time instead? Well, I'm going to try the same thing. Um, especially here. Cause he's motioning over. I feel like he clearly wants like a corner route on the right side or something there. Uh, and he's going to throw it. Ah, really, really bad throw by Vic. Uh, I think it would have been pretty close. He would have needed to roll a bit and, and pass late on the outside there, but he's going to go to uh, a five widened saints. And, and part of knowing the right thing here is like, he's not going to QB sneak or a QB draws or anything here. Uh, just from the formation, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. Uh, so instead let's, let's play this smart and he gets, I don't even know. Like I, it was a bad throw, like a bad throw animation and all that, obviously. But it was just bad in general. The clock was against him. Uh, it could have been a pick six there. I understand if you really wanted to like try a Hail Mary there, you should really try a Hail Mary, like block extra people and do something, you know, buy yourself some time there. He did not. It was going to five wide in that situation. It's kind of a, it's a bad option really, but Hey, you know, no harm, no foul. He's still down seven, getting the ball. He's in the same position he was in. Uh, we, 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 we held serve on that little short drive there. So that's great. 
Uh, it's going to give us the advantage in the game, which we need. Because again, if he scores three or seven, uh, I'm going to play the clock game. And I'm going to try to drag him out and drag him uh, through the mud for the rest of the game. So we'll see. Uh, so he's going to something a little different here. Little motion. The problem with some of these motions is that I don't have to worry about the run, right? If I don't have to worry about the run, I, my user is going to be that much better. I'll be honest, right? Now again, it's a five wide concept there, which is fine. I like what he drew up. I think it was a great play, but it's hurt. It, I think it hurts you in the long run sometimes. Uh, so again, right here, look, he, he, he's going to try, you know, the same thing here. And we're still blitzing. You know, I'm not, I'm not adjusting to what he's doing. But if we don't, he's going to be able to do basically what he wants at will. Right? Uh, 100%. So I know here we are shading down uh, with our hooks. Uh, the rest of the zones have zone depth, so they're, they're not going to be affected by stuff. Uh, but again, so even me shading the zone down there didn't play whatever a uh, little motioned out slant or whatever he happens to be running there uh not sure so again you know my idea here is to shade down and hopefully we can take that away uh and that's what i want and he actually goes to a totally different play here and i believe this is a laser it is a laser it is a laser we probably you see me go check the zone depths 30 right i had it on 30 just check it was 30 it's 30. 30 is not going to play that okay uh so he's going to come out right here and i hate this i hate what he did here with the motion because it he just told me i'm running right so we ran commit right and we carried with the safety over it was a terrible play call terrible you should just hike the ball like you gave everything away i hate that's such a bad thing to do there uh it really is uh so even then here right i'm, I'm not sure what he really wants to do but we're not going to do too much we get some pressure here derek thomas hey brand new guy welcome to the team uh so then he's gonna get to this point here and I, i'm just gonna like protect the sticks here you know there, there's there's not a lot gonna that, that could possibly be here bad throw you know derwin derwin is Derwin gonna do i do we take this back i feel like we do no is armstead so fast no he doesn't get us um so then that's the game he quits out here i feel like it was kind of a soft quit personally but uh if he doesn't motion on that run play i think he scores and it's a totally different game so that's what I mean by there. Sometimes there, there's very different things that happen within the game. Very small plays that really decide each and every Madden game. And that motion to me was one of them. So keep that in mind when you guys are playing. Be aware of the little things. If you're giving your play away, not good. Not good. Unless you're really like open for a Hail Mary or one play touchdown sort of thing that you're just trying to pull out of your back pocket. Otherwise, don't give your plays away. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from this gameplay. I know it was a little short, but that's okay. It's great. I'm out. Peace.